Hello my friends, Aspen, welcome to my channel. I'm out in nature today and in this video today I just want to try to convince myself to stick with the cameras I have. Uh, lately there's been a lot of updates in the camera market, especially action cameras with the GoPro Hero 11 and the DJI Osmo Action 3. So I'm out today, just want to test my cameras that I have and try to convince myself not to change and upgrade uh, to the newest, latest and greatest cameras. I see that I've been making a bunch of videos lately and comparing the Hero 11 and the Osmo Action 3 and both cameras seem to be pretty similar to the old uh, Hero 10 and also the Action 2. But of course a lot of people are saying that the Hero 11 is a big upgrade and especially the bigger channels and yes, you can record 10 bit on the latest Hero 11, but for my use, I don't see the point uh, filming in 10 bit. I like to color grade slightly, but I don't think you see that big of a difference, uh, especially the comparison I've seen so far. For me, it doesn't seem to be a big, big upgrade, but of course, the only thing that positive with the new Hero 11, in my opinion, is that actually the colors looks a little bit better. Uh, with the Osmo Action 3, for me it seems like that camera is more or less just an Action 2 in a new body. So I don't know if I'm wanting to upgrade and if I should upgrade which of these two cameras should I buy. I'm not quite sure yet, so that's the reason why this video today I just want to, to use my Osmo Action, my Hero 10 and my Action 2 and compare the footage between those three cameras just to see how good they are in 2022 and is there any reason to upgrade to the newest camera and I want your opinion on this also I'm gonna do some walking in nature and talking to the camera without any external mic because external audio is also extremely important and the Hero 10 and the Action 2 has pretty good uh, internal uh, audio uh, the old Osmo Action from 2019 not that old but does struggle a little bit but it's not too windy today so I think it's gonna be okay so let's uh, get on and test these three cameras just walking around in nature and compare them <music> Yeah guys, we are on the Osmo Action, the old one from 2019 in 4K30 in normal color profile. I'm out testing three different cameras from 2019, the Osmo Action, the Action 2 from 2021 and also the Hero 10. And the point of this video today is actually to convince myself, as I said, not to buy the latest the cameras and I'm out in the woods filming so the lighting condition is quite difficult for an action camera you can probably see some sun flares I'm filming in natural color profile or normal in 4k 30 on all three cameras in 4k on the Osmo Action and the Action 2 and 5.3k on the GoPro so I'm just gonna walk around and film with three different cameras just to see which one of them that does it the best and this is really difficult conditions for cameras like this only on the Osmo Action you don't have so many opportunities to change the field of view it's only the warp on and off so you don't have that many options but the camera is excellent and the stabilization is really good so we're going to change between these cameras and you can let me know which of them you think are best and is there any reason to upgrade. So let's turn to another camera. The weather is fantastic today. It's beautiful, but it's 
it's a lot of shadows here in the woods and uh, we're gonna see how good these cameras performs it's always getting more and more difficult when you get closer to autumn and fall because the sun is pretty low on the sky and the lighting condition isn't that great but the colors is just amazing today uh, I'm on the Action 2 in 4K30 Rocksteady standard deep warp you can probably see now that it's much wider than the Osmo Action that's one of the biggest benefits with the Action 2 and you also have the same on the new Osmo Action 3 the feel of you so I was a little bit shocked when I saw the release of the Osmo Action 3 because in many ways I was hoping for a new camera module to the Action 2 which was included with an SD card and better battery life and all of that but we didn't get that and in many ways that's DJI telling us that they did a little bit of a mistake with the Action 2 or maybe they missed a little bit in the marketing on that camera on this camera but still I love this camera it's it's great it is but it's a lot of things to choose from and people are always wanting wanting the latest and greatest but often I don't see the point I can understand that people want to upgrade but in many ways the point of upgrading is it should be so much better than what you have and you also need the money to, to do it of course and that's why for me I'm trying to convince myself to stick with the cameras I have and don't upgrade quite yet maybe it's better to do that next year when the probably the sensors are a little bit bigger and we have more options to choose from and the prices will drop on the other cameras so let's switch to the GoPro Hero 10 and see if there is any difference in image quality, color profile and stabilization and everything let's switch now yeah we are on the GoPro Hero 10 exactly the same as the GoPro Hero 11 but with a little bit smaller sensor or not a sensor type we are filming in 5.3K in linear mode because I just want to compare these cameras in equal field of view and in more or less the standard uh, setting they have so white balance is set to 5500 on all three cameras and like I said color profile is natural or normal and stabilization is set to high on the GoPro Hero 10 it's kind of wet in the woods today it is I've been watching a bunch of reviews lately on the newest Hero 11 and the Action 3 and there's a bunch of hype people want them and people are comparing them and usually most of the people that compare these camera are given these cameras for review and test so I'm a little bit envious on them because they can test the latest and greatest I really hope that one day that would be possible for me to be sent some free stuff to review but maybe my channel needs to be a little bit bigger before that happens but this is the GoPro Hero 10 can you see any difference between these three cameras the sun is behind me so I'm pretty sure you can see some sun flares but that can be a good test also to see how the dynamic range is and yes I have to agree that in many in almost every video I see when you're filming in 5.3k the GoPro seems to be a little bit better in dynamic range but that doesn't mean it's a better camera because also I think that the Action 2 has much better colors than GoPro especially in normal color profile and that's what most people are filming in because they don't want to grade it so it all depends on what you like and one more thing of course is um, the price the price on the Action 2 has dropped quite a lot after the latest release on the Osmo Action 3 and the price on the GoPro Hero 10 seems to be pretty high still I think you can get it for around 400 US dollars but you can get the Action 2 for 
320 or maybe under 300 dollars i'm not sure and the yost machine is still actually kind of expensive uh, around 250 us dollars so that's a lot to choose from and the price on the new Osmo Action 3 is actually 329 that's pretty cheap for the standard combo and you can buy the full pack the adventure combo for 399 I think and that's 150 US dollars cheaper than the GoPro Hero 11 it's quite a lot of money and the battery life is much better on DJI cameras than on GoPro so let's switch to the Osmo Action in the same place and see how that looks yeah so for me it's not that easy just to choose one camera over the other it all depends on what you use it for uh, is it a vlogging camera is it an action camera if it's an action camera i would recommend the osmo action the old one or the gopro hero 10 for uh, a combi camera i actually will recommend the action 2 so the point of this video today is not to tell everybody out there that I'm right and you should keep what you have and don't upgrade at all because I think that the Osmo Action 3 and the GoPro Hero 11 is excellent camera and probably the right camera for you but for me the point is trying to convince myself that I don't need to spend that money to be a better creator and that it doesn't make me better in any ways because I still need to learn how to use these cameras and make interesting videos and it's also extremely important that the camera I have is suitable for what I do and what I create and as you all know that follow me for a while I'm usually outdoor in nature and that's the reason why I really need action cameras and I also need action cameras that can handle rough weather, rough terrain and the Action 2 can't, the Osmo Action can and the GoPro Hero 10 can but combined I think the three action cameras are really good for me because I can use the Action 2 as a vlogging camera for different things and I can use the Osmo Action or the Hero 10 for more rough use because uh, I don't want to break my action to it's quite uh, a wimpy camera <laughs> and uh, of course it can stand a lot of rough use but uh, if you're only gonna be outdoor doing action sport it's not the point to have the action to alone you need other cameras so uh, yeah we just have to wait and see what to do that's that's the point of this <laughs> Yes, it's gonna be fun to see which camera performs the best and we all have different tastes but what I think is most important is natural true colors that's important for me because sometimes I think, think that some of these cameras can do a little too much and the GoPro is one of them but also pushing the colors a little bit on the GoPro what GoPro do with the colors looks pretty good in some uh, scenery actually but it also sometimes can be a little too much so that's why i recommend shooting in flat but i didn't want to do that today because i want to compare them and i didn't want to do too much work in editing but uh, please let me know down in the comment which camera you like the most this is the gopro hero 10 and you saw the footage on the action 2 and the lighting condition has been more or less the same all the time and i didn't choose horizon lock on either camera the action 2 or gopro but pay attention to the details and what do you think are you going to upgrade 
to the newest camera or do you want to stick with what you have do you want to spend that money now or wait for me i still think i'm gonna wait a little bit just have to wait and see maybe i sell a camera but what i really want is a 360 camera that's my dream i had the x2 but i sold it a year ago i don't know why i regret it a little bit i have to be honest but i think i'm gonna save some money and buy the x3 it looks really good but i also hope that insta would send me something it would be great to have that camera when i'm out running in the woods and hiking so fingers crossed that some company would sponsor me with something but i just want to say again thank you so much for watching and for all the support so far we're gonna do a lot of hiking soon and i'm not gonna do too much camera comparison because some people don't like it and uh, yeah just gonna have fun so please subscribe ring the bell give me a thumb up and uh, i'll see you in the next one bye bye